Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our second of four group stage matches for today. It's Zenith facing off against Dreams, and it is the new Zenith with Yamate and Ice joining the squad, the two former Orange players, facing off against Lady and Dreams, well known for their seconds, impressive play in Dota 1. They were a top four team at SMM, but do Five not look very remaining. polished in Dota 2. They got absolutely hammered by Mineski. They went for a very standard, it's almost Chinese time. draft in some ways, and it just did not work out for them. Let's see if they go for something more standard this game. I'm LD of Beyond the Summit, and I'm joined here today by Winter. Now, as you can see here, they are going for a keeper of the light first take already. They really Instead like of letting him. it through. This yeah, the last good. game they gave it away to Mineski. Radiant team. And I feel like they just, they really like these these big AoE team fight type heroes, whether it's supports or carries we saw, uh, which is not traditional dreams. I mean, traditionally dreams, they like, they run try, they, I think the last time I cast them in Dota, Dota 1, they were running a Weaver, Earthshaker, Tri-Lane offensively. They love to put jewels on things like Puck. Uh, they, they like uh, sort of these mobile semi-carries. That's what I'm used to seeing for them, but... They have definitely adjusted their style, and I'm curious Five to see how, if they go down the same road against Zenith. Zenith going for a huge team fight. Winter, this actually reminds me of a game in the Beyond the Summit World Tour where Zenith picked a total five-man lineup, and it was something the teams were not doing much at the time. And they, I think they hit like a vacuum, epicenter, static storm, burrow strike... Uh, Ravage combo and just like completely yeah. wipe the enemy team. So let's see. Do you know who was the game. enemy team? Yeah. I was the enemy team. Yeah. Did, <laughs> were you the ones who played against them in that game? Yeah. Uh, I know. You remember, I remember this game. that game? Yeah. Uh, Mushi was on the clings. Bad, bad memories. Oh, really? <laughs> Uh, I don't even remember him playing the clinks. I just remember Zenith five manning, and it was not something we saw teams do a whole lot at the time. It was much more split pushing, getting your core items, uh, you know, more farming and less five man Dota. But they've started with five man Dota and Dreams. They get the Phantom Lancer this game, which is a very powerful pick. I feel. Oh, and the Undying too. I like the way Dreams is drafted quite a bit. What can I say? Illusions and zombies. <laughs> You're learning at the hands of Bruno, or at the feet of Bruno. <laughs> and I, I, I also like Zenith's response. They, they pick a hero who's great against Undying, obviously, because the Luna, the Glaive's bouncing through. Good for killing off zombies, and more importantly, uh, the Aura. Yeah. You can kill the Tombstone very quickly. Is kind of weak Zenith, against offensive trilings, though, and they already have a uh, support who's weak against them in Disruptor. So Dreams may still be in a great position to punish this Luna pick in the laning stage. <laughs> But Disruptor is something we don't see a lot already lately because of the better supports where we mentioned before, Keep Up the Light, Shadow Demon, Rubik. This tree will always be the higher higher choice of picks by teams because of the fact that they do provide so much for the team. But for Disruptor, he's just mainly for the team fight and teams where you just catch out someone from a far distance. turn to ban. Hey, let me ask you, did they change a player? Because I think they had Yosh in the last game. I don't know if YK is Yosh. Uh, I also, I want to point out Paddy's not drafting, and he was drafting last game. Um, yeah. Uh, I, you, you pointed yeah. out that he was the one to leave first. And you know what, LD? It took them so long to join the game. Yeah, it I think be, they were a little upset. They, they were having a team discussion before. Yeah, whether they're upset or just, you know, let's figure out what the hell's going on. Something was going on in the war room there. Uh, as for Dreams, they're banning out a lot of the very powerful semi-carry solo mids for Zenith. Uh, the lane dominators. And then the question is, who do they have in mind? Do they have something I like a Beastmaster? They're going to pick a Beastmaster or a Nightstalker. Otherwise, they wouldn't be banning Queen of Pain and Templar Assassin. Five seconds well, remaining. it's what we saw a lot of G League. Uh, and you yeah. know, it's, you, you, if you see these bands, then it's because you want it's something like time. a Beastmaster or a Mag uh, to go solo mid. Or a Night Stalker. Or a Night Stalker, Stalker yes. Yeah, there's no Mag now. Uh, but, right, in this case, there's no Mag. I just I meant in general, but thank you. <laughs> Good point. Uh, and Ten let's see. what I, I'm curious what Zenith goes for, and I'm wondering... Are they going to try to... They can't Five really dodge the offensive remaining. tri lane if it's coming because Disruptor really needs levels. So they can't dodge I it. It's going to be hard to fight against it. Oh, team fight. Team fight. Oh, are we maybe going to see this Tidehunter getting a solo lane? Because they no, are... Be 
Mm. The first six heroes, LD, <laughs> no stuns except for except for Lucent Beam. <laughs> no, Lucent Beam. <laughs> well, there's only Ravage and Monolik on Dream Side, which Ravage is great, but you got to get it first. And now the Rubik. Oh boy. What kind of a Rubik is it going to be? They could definitely put him mid with their draft so far. But it will, I will hope to see a Ravaging Rubik. <laughs> yeah, I want to see some Ravages stolen as well. Not to say I'm rooting for Zenith, it just makes the game a lot more exciting. He could also steal Illuminate, the Tombstone. This is a very smart Rubik pick, and honestly, we don't really see him slip Ten through this far, remaining. especially in Asian Dota. Puck. And Puck. This is going to be a Jules when Puck, so uh, yeah. it should be anyway. And I like, this is a signature hero for Jules, one of his most famous. And I think they're going a little bit... It's still not really a dream, a draft that I'm used to seeing from Dreams, but at least they get one signature hero for Jules. But the bad news for Jules is Puck is not as strong in Dota 2 when you compare to Dota 1. Because of the orb, it's very slow in Dota 2. And, and one, also, oh, orb is a lot faster. also, you can't do that obnoxious jungling at the Ancients on the Dire side. Because um, you don't have <laughs> and, the vision. Through and the, the attack animation in Dota 2 is not as good as Dota 1. So it is a bit of a weaker pick, but it might be an... I, I feel like it might be an, um, a puck who's going mid, maybe. Actually, how are they going to lane this? I thought they were an offensive tri lane, but then they've gone for Undying, uh, or Tidehunter and Puck, so I think if the Tide would get a solo lane. Off lane Tide, keep off the Light Dirge and Phantom Lancer. And then Puck mid. Yeah, hmm. that's most likely. And Puck would do... He does reasonably well against Rubik. Rubik should have a bit of an edge, I think, with the Fade Bolt, because it's hard to last hit against him, but... Uh, but oh, I think Gyrocopter. Rubik is not the mid hero. Yeah, not, definitely not now, because they go for the Gyrocopter. Uh, wait. And Isis playing it? Wait, no, no, they're messing with me. I'm going to check my friend list who is who. Yeah, um, I don't... Because Isis is a support player. All right, now... <laughs> um, this is going to be confusing, because uh, okay. once again, Ice and Ice, Ice, Ice are playing on the same team. Prepare for the gyro is ice, ice, ice. The A I S is the Malaysian ice. Okay, so this is ice. This is ice, ice, ice. All right. Speaking of which, offlane gyro. Oh. Is it offlane gyro? Oh, ice, oh. ice, ice. You are a silly man. Let's see how this works. I feel this could be. Uh, they might be anticipating that offensive tri lane. It looks like they're going to be potentially right keeper of the light, or is it maybe dual lanes? Well, quickly we'll introduce the players while we wait to see how the lanes develop. On the side of Zenith, the new and hopefully improved Zenith. Ice, Ice, Ice is going to be on the Gyrocopter. We have Konnichiwa on the Dark Seer. That's XY. XY, thank you. <laughs> I didn't have a chance to look at their profiles. Uh, we have the Rubik being played by Ice. <laughs> Stop it, you jerks. Uh, who is that? It's, it's so Ice spelled in Malay, time. actually. <laughs> <laughs> and and X-Freedom on Disruptor. Yeah, okay, X Freedom on Disruptor. We have Ice on Rubik. And then we have, is this XY playing the oh, Luna? Yamate. Oh, sorry, Yamate. XY Forgive is the Dark Seer. Uh, get the new Zenith. It's just, <laughs> they could not troll any harder in this game. All right, Winter, you have the fun part. You get to, you get to introduce Dreams. We have Dreams lead in series L on the Tide Hunter, which seems to be a safe lane Tide. Probably they were expecting the Dark Seer to be down there. And Jules expected to be the mid lane puck. Top lane, the tri lane, will consist of Dirge by YK and P Patty on the Keeper of the Light and Ovi on the Carry Phantom Lancer. Man, you got the easy one. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I got the hard one yesterday. You always, you always do the QMX and I have to do the Thai, the Thai team where I can't pronounce their names. Regeneration! <laughs> They're such trolls. Uh, this is gonna. Zenith has predicted the offensive tri lane. That's why they're sending Ice 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 to the bottom lane, though. And this is gonna work out pretty well for him. Gyro is very dominant against melee heroes in general, and he's also gonna get this pull off. He's gonna get a lot of experience, and but this tri lane's still gonna pool, be hard. The pull will favor the tight though. They were expecting a soul tri lane and bot, I think. Hmm. Well, Gyro would have died if there was a tri lane here, and they were prepared for him. Uh, no, I don't think so, because they don't have stuns. Phantom Lancer, Dirge, and keep up the light. Well, he certainly wouldn't get experience, though. That's He'd be completely zoned out of lane if they if you throw a lance at him, you're decay spamming him, chasing him away. Uh-oh, top lane, this might be our first blood. This looks like big trouble. Yosh trying to run away. He will escape, 
for the moment. He goes down in the end, I believe. No, he just lives. Rubik will fall as well. The offensive trailing from Dreams doing work, and they're not done just yet. There is another Lance. They could easily oh, go for this Disruptor. Fight. There's the Lance, always just not going for the kill. Doesn't need it. Triple for the Keeper. He'll pay with his life. Oh, I just wanted to farm. That keeper could have lived, though. I don't know why Oh, didn't help with the kill. Uh, I don't know why Oe didn't help him with the lance. He definitely had it on off cooldown at that point. And he had mana. I, yeah, I clicked on him. It was available. I guess he just he didn't and... know that he was going for it. Ice, ice, ice on trouble on the bottom lane. Barely able to live. Salve enough. He's going to go back in in about a second here. And L's going to blind running right into him. This is going to be a kill for Ice, Ice, Ice. Almost certainly down he goes. And that gyro, just not a good matchup for Tidehunter at all. Yeah, and I don't... I think the dirt should have died there. Did you catch him? He was hiding in the oh, uh, trees, and he got thunderclap by the by the disruptor. Oh, but he you? still had tank. Yeah, he still had tangles to go tangle in further into the tree and solve up. Oh, I don't he think did he should die. Have died. I, th I thought he barely uh, lived there. For I didn't see the oh, I don't, Yeah, I don't think he should have died there. He, he made a mistake. It was really close. I think he might have misclicked. Haster picked up by the Rubik. Can he throw anyone up on a cliff? Can he find an opening? Doesn't look like it yet. And this Luna is still getting great farm. It's last city under the tower. Obviously, the Luna Blessing helps a lot with that, but under a lot of pressure, uh, the one question I was going to have is do they have regen? And they have quite a bit in spite of being up against the Keeper on dying, which is a lot of spam, as well as the Phantom Lancer. So, despite the kills, uh, Zenith doing pretty well right now. In fact, it's 3 to 3. Yeah, and bottom lane definitely favors the Gyro. There's not much the Tide can do against the Rocket Barrage in Gyro. He's gonna have such a hard time at bottom lane. Yeah, and Anchor, Anchor, lane... Anchor Smash is great against melee heroes, and certain heroes, ranged heroes, it's okay against, but it does nothing for you against Gyro. Yeah, look at Ice Ice Ice. He just doesn't care. Manning up, and the rockets are not very effective when there's creeps to tank them. Uh, similar to Edict or Battery Assault, of course, but... Still, uh, it's similar to the Eclipse at, uh, yeah. similar to Eclipse. <laughs> Top lane, here's the dive, Luna's in trouble, should be dropping momentarily, one more auto tank, no Juki like a boss, not enough. Keeper will pay though, Undying will pay, double for eyes, he wants more, he's not done yet. He is gonna trap OA, but I don't think they have the damage to get this kill. Sentry is placed That's as well. Glint. That means. I see shit. Are they really gonna be able to bring him down? Yep, Rubik is here actually with the lift. Might be able to. That was a last second glimpse. He does have a salve and tranquil boots. Oh. Another kinetic field and OA gets trapped. Could have maybe ran to the right and then down, but in the end gets caught and drops. I think he should have ran the other way to the right, to the jungle. Then he would have survived. Gyro going in, Tidehunter's been stunned. If he runs here, he's gonna die to the next rocket barrage. He's gotta stay near the creeps. He will do so, but he might die anyway. Gyro has better base oh, move boost. speed, He's and he's got the boots as well. This is the death of the Tidehunter. As long as you can keep the vision, and Ice 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 can. 7-4, to four. and Dreams, after a 3-1 start, suddenly find themselves at a 3-kill deficit. Yeah, they really shouldn't have dived that deep there to get the kill on the Luna. It was very risky and they paid the price for it. They lost three heroes there and Tidehunters is just being a bit too too over eager to farm in the lane against the gyro. And you know they're they're gonna as long as they're Radiant's constantly pressuring this tower, tower there are they already have an edge in the lane. They've got the better lane in terms of 3v3, so I'm a little surprised to see that they were being so aggressive, because I don't really think they need to. If they're pulling, which Zenith is doing, sure they're getting levels, but they're going to lose this tier 1 early, and Luna needs that space to farm safely. So, pretty big mistake strategically for Dreams to be so over-aggressive there. Yeah, but the good, the good thing is they killed the Luna twice already. That's the good thing about it. She's actually dead even with the Phantom Lancer, though, in spite of that. Yeah, Phantom Lancer doesn't have any get... kills. Yeah, didn't get any kills and his last hits is not too, not 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 as much as the Luna. He's currently six last hits behind the Luna. I, I do want to point out, since we always try to keep an eye on this in the tri lanes, that the ward vision uh, is actually looking pretty decent for Zenith. They've got a nice lane ward here that spots when the keeper comes into the jungle, and as yeah. soon as he does, the supports run towards him, looking for an opening. Yeah, and I forgot to mention as well, the, before this, Zenith had a sentry and when they were, because they were so busy fighting and they didn't deward the ops by dreams, and when they went to deward it, the sentry just ran out and he the ward is on last hit. <laughs> uh, and the camp, the camp uh, is currently blocked as a result, as you're pointing out. Illuminate being thrown out behind the tower. And look at L, he's just, he can't sit in the, oh no, oh. as soon as I look away, really? Level, uh, level 6 did pop the Eclipse, got the kill, 
How is she already level six? That really shouldn't happen. It's like it's because of those tower dives that really cost them. Darkseer comes yeah. in, but they should be able to get away. And because earlier in the earlier stage of the lane, Rubik sacrificed a lot of his experience. He didn't take any experience in the lane, and Luna was taking it all by herself with the disruptor. So you can see the Rubik is very low level. He's level three. The disruptor's Jules. level five. Joel's dropped his ult. I don't know if he actually has the burst to bring him down. He needs to hit this orb. He will. Still not enough. Needed to silence uh, a little bit sooner before the surge could happen and miss times. It doesn't get the kill. Well, I do not think even if he had a better timing on that, he would have gotten the kill. The toxic just a bit too tank and there was a disruptor there. He even had a double damage rune, and it looks like oh, he's, he's gonna, gonna steal, steal the, the stack camp. at least. Which is a pretty big victory. <laughs> but not as good as getting the kill on the darks here, obviously. It's a consolation fight. Exactly. That's the term I was looking for. Thank you, Winter. <laughs> <laughs> You're reading my mind, and Jules wants to go back in. He doesn't have his ult. He actually doesn't even have boots. That's the other reason that he probably would have had trouble getting that kill. He has it now. They know he it puts us down. They just got the boots delivered by the Courier. And Luna's in trouble. There's the Lance to start. Can they bring her down? She is very fast. Oh, the Illuminate misses. I don't know. Oops, the orb actually does big damage. That Luna, very squishy. Disruptor running one way. Rubik the other. And unfortunately, they can't turn this into a tower push because they don't have the creeps in their favor. Which but is... still, they killed the Luna. They did, big but... Kick. Let's keep in mind that Ice, Ice Ice is actually the lead farmer of this game at 2700 net worth. He destroyed the bottom lane and I wouldn't say it's all Tidehunter's fault for being caught out like that. But he obviously doesn't have much experience going up against the Gyro. Gyro is just so strong in the, in the laning phase Jules. if you're going one on one. Oh, he gets glimpsed. Nope, just a second oh. too soon so he ports to the orb. That was just a, very hard to time that one properly but not able to do so. Yeah. And both sides are giving, providing vision for their mid lanes about the same timing. Yeah, we see the hill wards being placed by both sides. Luna is going to spawn bottom. It is going to be an invis. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Luna, Luna is the one roaming. Uh, yeah, they, he, they he's know had it enough level at six. He's had it enough at top lane. <laughs> I'm getting killed time and time again. I'm not going back there. Oh, he's got Eclipse. He could dive and get this kill, but he needs the Lucent Beam to start. Tide's going to hit six off of this creep wave, I believe. It's going to be very close if he does. Lucid Beam to start, the rocket to follow. Not going to get that level 6. Huh. Nice, nice, nice. On a killing spree, the ult even flies out. So that looks yeah, like a Puck canceled the TP. Puck canceled the TP. He was, supposed to, he was about to TP down, and when he saw the rockets coming, he just popped it. <laughs> the, that, that ultimate call down for the gyrocopter does a lot of damage. He does, I'd say he does the most nuke damage out of any hero in the game, or at least has the potential to at this stage. Uh, with this uh, it combo. actually doesn't deal too much of a damage. Not not as much as something like a Laguna or a Finger. But it's decent. At level 1, it deals 350 damage. Well, it's also in a massive AoE. Plus, I, I meant the whole package though. Not just the ultimate, but oh. between that and Rocket Barrage. It's a lot of burst. Oh, Ice 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 got caught. Is able to TP away because there's still no Ravage. It's 9 minutes in. Ty got a solo lane and he's really struggling. Yeah, he had such a bad time in the lane. Jules, he already, he's got an orb, and then, oh, what a oh, play, Jules, nice juke. Kill. Jules with a great juke. He is going to be able to not get this, he's not going to be able to get this kill, rather, because he doesn't Dyer's have the way to disable the TP, but still top. baits out the Eclipse for the Dream Coil, and Dream Coil is a much lower Radiant cooldown, so not a bad trade. As the tier one falls top, Dyer's OA up to 2200 gold, forward. really catching up. Small victory, top lane. Yeah, oh, he's getting caught at a sentry ward. He ran right into the supports, didn't know they were here. He's gonna try to run away, they still have vision of him, but now, no glimpse! No and mana, he may actually no escape, mana. vacuum back into the sentry, and he will die. He didn't have mana for the glimpse before. Mm. Oh no, Ice Ice Ice, special delivery, rockets to the dome. And doing work. Ice 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 is 4-0, and oh. just absolutely dreams. Is oh, really career, career. Courier. Oh, Dyer's don't die. No, little courier. No, little courier. No. Radiant's courier has been <laughs> killed. Nothing uh, is going Dreams' way at this point. Uh, there's one thing, though. <laughs> they just wasted the Eclipse. Right. But can they turn it into something? <laughs> they do have Ravage now. They've got Ravage and Puckle in 10 seconds. Unfortunately, there's a Static Storm, there's a Call Down, and there's a Dark Seer's quite highly leveled. Uh, doesn't uh, have X-Vacuum yet. This. Here oh, we go. Jules missed time. Ice, ice, ice. Oh, there's no mana for Ravage. There's no mana for Ravage. There you go. He got the mana from the Keeper of the Light. But it's actually going to melt to Ice, 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 who man modes up, turns the fight around. A fresh rocket barrage to K spam. 
not enough. Yes, it is. In comes Jules. Wants to turn this game for his team. Double kill for Jules. Nice play from him. Helping to set up something, but Ice 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 buys immediately back into the game. A little bit of rage, uh, or just trolling coming out from him. Didn't accomplish anything at all with that buyback, but he uh, can farm. LD, how can you not know? One of Ice Ice Ice's favorite things to do is buyback. Buyback and then TP mid to steal farm from his supports. Standard Ice Ice Ice. <laughs> ice. <laughs> uh, and it's, you, you, it is you know very when... early, it's not that big of a deal to buy back. And yeah, he actually make doesn't. It doesn't really hurt you too much if you do it in the early phases right? because you could con get get back the money just by farming one or two waves of creeps. The only issue is if you blow your buyback on something like that and then you die again and you can't buy back when say a Roche attempt is happening or you want to have a big team fight then it could really hurt you but the gold itself like you said is not a big deal it's only three four hundred gold at this point. Yeah and during have you ever heard interviews? There was one interviewer that asked us as Ice why he always this, does this uh, in training or in online Radiant tournaments. He would he, he said it before because he he takes online tournaments as training and he when you're dead you're not practicing so he wants to buy out and be playing all the time. Jules is five mana away from having his own. His Ice Ice is gonna try to TP out again. There's the cooldown. Barely living his out. Got a phase shift away from that rocket. Jules with the sick reaction. And mode. Ice 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 is going to drop, but it did take four heroes and a tombstone to bring him down. Meanwhile, Owe getting closer and closer to that defusal blade. Wants to have a go here on the Luna. That was four heroes, but they get Ice Ice Ice. And that's after the buyback. <laughs> So now no he is much poorer than he was. Radiance middle Look yeah. at his net worth. He was the leader now. He's 1k behind Jules. And Jules is almost has his dag on. He loves this dag on top. Yeah, and he always goes face boot on top as well. Usually you see power trick. Oh, he's going to run. coil on a disruptor. Can they actually stop the TP? They can't. They oh. almost burst him down. The Most. orb. If, you know, if the DK would have come before Dyer's the orb hit, that would have been dead. A dead uh, disruptor. Right, because the because the orb does a flat amount of damage, and yeah, uh, and you, if you drain his strength first before your your damage point hits, it, it deals more damage. Let's see what's gonna happen here with the rocket flying in. Is Ice 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 gonna go? He's got call down. There's the decay catches too. Darkseer, Darkseer is behind the wings. Oh, Tombstone waiting. was stolen though. Here comes oh. the darks here. Vacuum only catching the keeper. Not a very good vacuum. Now another decay. He's really getting a lot of uh, strength from this. He's up to a thousand HP. Tombstone was stolen though. Remember uh, that Rubik has that in the back pocket. Oh, I hear please. a glimpse. Undying oh, oh. is gonna live. He's gonna turn around and look for an angry decay. Won't find it though. Here comes Zoe. This top tower is under attack. Luna is getting oh. close to a BKB. She's actually ahead of the Phantom Lancer net worth, despite so many deaths. Yeah, she farms, she, her last hits are a lot ahead of the Phantom Man. So here comes the missile, incoming. Boink! There's the Ravage on two heroes, we on the cooldown. Now the Eclipse, oh. gonna melt everybody down. L still alive, Illuminate Luna doing died. big work. Now the Dagon Jules is here. Oh, Hello, oh. he says he got Glyphs. Got Glyphs back, got got back. back, yep. The Clips back to base. That's unfortunate. He would have had so many kills. Oh wait, can't find the Phantom Lance. Juking his ice ice ice. Lurking in the trees. Wants to turn this around. Jules is here again though in spite of it. There's the orb and we'll find a kill. Jules is unstoppable. Really stepping up for his team. And you, I think everyone can see why. This is one of his signature heroes. Hey gone. Hey gone completed. 6-0-0. Zero, and zero. Still the leader in net worth. Constantly coming to the fights. I'm loving this puck, but they need him to play like this because the rest of the team is really struggling. Yeah, but another good news: Luna dies again. Stay near. That's we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Kadichi while trying to run for his uh, life. There's the orb. There's, is it? Yep. They got more kills. Wicked sick. Busian Jules. Busian. Oh, Ice Ice Ice, middle lane, he wants to solo the entire enemy team like the manly gyro we saw yesterday, but doesn't quite have the items yet. And you can call it practice, I call it sloppy play, but Ice 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 gets picked off again. Yeah, and mid lane, they're trying to consolidate their advantage now by taking the tower. Going but on a disruptor, who die. pulls one back oh. in, the static storm is here, there is no ravage for a full minute. Undying though, doesn't care, he's just mauling away, and it looks like Ice might fall as well, he will. Orb comes in, Jules has arrived again. And he's gonna be able to level, uh, get that blink dagger soon. I don't think he normally levels up a dagger. I have seen him do it, but only when his team is very far ahead. 
Uh, and they are definitely not that far ahead right now. In fact, they're this still. This is a like game that has kills everywhere. <laughs> it feels like a little bit less than the last game, but still pretty oh, crazy. TP, TP. Tower's gonna drop. Oh, he really wants this. Oh. He's committed to it. The tower's oh, denied. denied. They have the vision. They don't have dust. Ice has dust, but it's in his stash. Or Ice, 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 rather. He's going to pick up the Invis rune as well. Uh, and of course, the missile doesn't hit Invis units, but he runs into it a little bit early. He was fading. Wow. That, that could have cost him, actually. I think if Ice, Ice, Ice had just thrown yeah. the call down, call he down. actually could have gotten the kill if he had done it immediately, but he couldn't have known, I guess. Uh, I don't think he would have died because he has level 1 Phantom Age that provides extra 10% magic resistance. He would have lived all that. By barely, barely lived, he wouldn't have died. Wow, this Keeper of the Light is level 10. This Look at how highly leveled all the supports are because there's so much killing going on in this game. Level 9, 8, just level 10 on Tiny Keeper. That's pretty good leveling from everybody. We often see supports in more passive games at level, you know, f 5 or 6 if they're just afraid to go farm, but everybody's getting kill experience, and everybody's snowballing very quickly. And this Luna is just dying all the time. <laughs> she still almost has her BKB in spite of that, which this yeah. is not good farm, but it might be enough. Now I said I'm starting to stack up the Ancients and farm. Here's actually a, a, a point of concern if your dreams is until your Phantom Lancer gets big, a Luna with a BKB, there's no way for you to deal with it. There's just no, there's nothing that goes through it. More importantly, there's not much yeah. physical damage. And oh, Jules I has thought, his blink now. I thought Jules would be making, you know what, 800 Dagon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maxing out the Dagon. Uh, I don't think so. It's, he's a little bit far behind for that. He does have the blink though. And, oh, he's shown it to Zenith, I think. Oh, uh, no, he hasn't, actually, no. Oh, uh, no, he hasn't. He's, he's going to pick off the Rubik and the Disruptor over and over again. <laughs> if he can find the opening, you know Jules wants to go. Now he's been spotted. He's revealed the blink at this point, if they're paying attention. Yeah, definitely they saw it. Uh, it's the supporter's job to keep an eye on the map all the time. Mm, Jules roaming around. Is he the... going to get someone? Is he going to get someone? Oh, no, Sentry's there. <laughs> They're all running away from the Dagon Puck. <laughs> Run, head for the hills, and get our BKB on Luna. That's the goal, and they're going to have it soon. Dreams, they smoked up. I don't think they were spotted. Oh, but Zen I think this is going to be bad for Zenny if they are able to catch up the Luna again. Oh, Luna's hasted, though. Oh, no. She's hasted. But he can still die with the Dream, the dream coil. coil. They could bring him down with that. Let's see if they can find Okay, him. here goes. See you, Luna. Gush to start. Blink to follow. Where's that Dream Coil? He hasn't used it yet. Oh, it's going to melt. Jules. They're gone. Pew pew pew! Oh, Gets another. They gone the. Oh, they recalled Oe. I don't really like that choice. I think it's fine though because oh, the lanes are so pushy. He doesn't have anywhere safe to farm, hmm. and they are going to group up and take the tower with their ravage, so they can give him. He's. It's okay for him to be in this push. Hmm. Fair he enough. He almost has his defusal up. Or he actually has it. Yeah, he has it. This is going to be very helpful for dealing with that pesky Dark Seer. Tries to surge his teammates away, and then of course, you just purge it off. And that's going to make it very hard to run if you're Zenith. They need that BKB on Luna. That death is going to set it back yet again. She would have had it by now. If she had died just one less time, I'm sure she would have it. There is a Static Storm. There is a Kinetic Field. And knowing Zenith, they are going to try to fight. They need to vacuum them into the Kinetic Field. But Jules disrupts the combo, blinks in, silences, and then ports away. Jules is making so many plays for his team. Ziggler Clips comes out, but look at the Luna. Just melt, vacuum into the Static Storm. But there's no Kinetic Field to follow it up, and Ravage is coming. L says hello, catches everyone, barely misses eyes, but he's not done yet. Jules jumps forward, gets... Oh, I thought got caught in the trees, then blinks away. And without that Kinetic Field Static Storm combo, they just couldn't get a good team fight. And also, Ice 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 was not there. He wanted to finish his BKB. Yeah, they need a lot of BKBs to fight this, and I want to apologize for disconnecting them as well. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm back in. How dare you. Oh no, Tidehunter gets a Vanguard. I do not like this choice one bit. Well, uh, you know, you know, I'm gonna say, the, say something again. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Why no pipe? Yeah, why no? Oh, here comes Ice Ice oh, Ice no. and the Vanguard not oh, helping him. 
not helping him one bit get fit against all that magical damage. Well, a little bit it helps, but not enough. Jules is gonna be benched. Tower bottom is gonna fall. There's a dust on Phantom Lance. He could purge uh, it off. No, he's, he's, dead. he's not gonna purge it off. He is. He doesn't have Doppel oh, no. anyway, so I guess it wouldn't matter. And he's gonna drop. No, he's still alive. Earth Sharks no. brings him down. Three heroes dead. They're still chasing. They want Patty. Can Patty get his way out of here? Still running. Wants to survive. Save me. I'm Gandalf. I can't die yet. Sauron isn't no dead. TP. No TP. Uh oh. Listen. Nope. Oh, Juki. Juki like Juke. a boss, but Patty has no TP, like you said, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Jules died as well at the top lane. Ice 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 killed the Tide Hunter, then killed Jules as well. Jules was trying to kill kill the Gyro, but he didn't have his uh, Dream Choir. And he was barely able, wasn't able to kill the Gyro, and he died. And now Ice 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 is level 17 with his BKB. Not, not to mention he got, he ended the streak. The go, uh, holy shit streak uh, from the uh, from the park. Yeah, Jules was 11 and one, and he just died. That's the other. That's the other nice thing about Ice 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 feeding earlier uh, is that he's not giving up a huge streak. <laughs> it's very strategic play by the master himself, Ice Ice Ice. You always come up, manage always to come up with something, even though everything is going wrong. When everything is good, like the lone Jew getting items or someone getting items, and you would say, "Good news." He's running out of item slots. <laughs> well, we try to look at the bright side here and be on the summit until there truly is no bright side, and then we, uh, then we say the GGs will be called any minute. <laughs> but the last game, Dreams doesn't want to call GG, even though <laughs> I said that it was already over for them. Yeah, if they lose this, lose this game, they're in a lot of trouble, and Jules is probably about to die here. He's still Static Storm, they just need to lose the beam, and he should fall. The Rice chains on there, and the Eclipse oh, comes out KB. with the BKB. Rubik steals Anchor Smash, not really the best ability, but hey, it's something oh, there's... Oh, Blink. here comes the puck, but he's not able to... Uh, I think you can actually face oh, shift that, right? Yeah. Ravage is gonna connect, catches out a few. You gotta be called back to the fight. Oh, he got... He sent me home, no, pull him back in, he says. And Jules delivers the justice, and by the way, he is leveling up that Dagon. A very questionable choice against double BKBs uh, on the carries, but it's Jules, and no surprises. LD, you know... She could have actually disjointed the Grims Yeah, by... but Phase Shift. No, no, Phase Shift doesn't... Oh, it doesn't, doesn't? doesn't disjoin. But with the AWP, he can. Just send out his illusionary AWP. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, before the Grims. I thought you could Oh, Luna! Shift, Luna. Phase Shift dodge it? I, I don't think you can. Actually, but, uh... yeah, I think I might have tried it a pub once and it didn't work and then I got really mad. <laughs> is this gonna fall now? Uh, Disruptor's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, he'll drop. Well, I guess if they keep on fighting... Do you remember? The Chen send the puck back, then the end, Buffy. <laughs> um, di <laughs> oh yeah, for the, the pal trip. Here comes the pain oh, from Ice Ice Ice. Man Can they bring him down? They're gonna try and fight. They can't deal with Ice Ice Ice. Oh, this yeah. BKB oh, yeah. on Gyro, we said it. You know, there's just no answer for it. But it does wear off. Can always turn the fight around now. He sends an illusion in. The hero away. And Ice, Ice, Ice. Here comes the rocket. Back to the fountain. <laughs> You know, he met up and fought there, all the heroes, and the only thing he got was the career. <laughs> Keep all the light died to something else. Uh, the career was sending items over, and unfortunately, the flat cannon worked on the career. They gone, they gone! Yep, here's the puck. It's gonna taser one down, then port away. Uh -oh. Boy, Jules is really good at that. What oh, next level, they gone. Now it's 600. Puck's sort of like Tinker, just so many active abilities, you constantly get to keep your hands moving. Very and you wouldn't like play. it. You wouldn't like it if you are here. You are a support like disruptor or even a Rubik. There's nothing you can do. There is something you can do. Sit in fountain. That's doing nothing, LD. <laughs> Touche. Touche, Winter. Here comes oh, a die. He's charging it. What are you doing, that? YK? This is probably not where he wants to be. They don't have Ravage for 20 seconds. And Ice 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 says hello. And they breathe oh. away. Now everybody's vacuumed in. Not really a great combination from Zenith, but BKB number one is pop. Eclipse as well is going to absolutely no. drill them. Massive damage. Luna doing work. Okay. Tide Hunter running. Five seconds. Damage, five seconds. But this five is seconds. a full HP Luna. I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, L's just going to fall. More heroes dropping. Now Dine's going to fight the dust, then the Tide. And they're going to get Roche. Talk about a bad fight for, for Dreams. There you have it. 
they overestimated themselves because without the Ravage, it's just so difficult for them to fight. When they recalled the Tide, I think he recalled the PL and the Tide Hunter was running in, they still didn't have Ravage. They also got blocked away by that uh, by that kinetic field for a good second or two, which really messed up their timing. And it's also, it's they just can't really pick a fight unless the BKBs are on cooldown. They they don't have any way to deal with them. PL is not that far. I mean, he's got a Diffusal Blade, drums, and a Vitality Booster. He needs a heart at least to be able to tank through that and more importantly some attack speed items so that he can actually cre quickly create a large illusion army but i still think that it's still in favor of dreams because they have the stronger late game with the pl oh and as long oh yeah that's a great point yeah and as long as they don't he doesn't run into the Darkseer ultimate all the time i still think they have the this, the game is still in their hands because well, Gyro needs a lot more items, like I mentioned Gyro before. Gyro has to take... 4k, though. He's a good 3k ahead of the PL. Eddie's got the Luna. I agree with yeah. you. I think Dreams has a bit of a... Certainly the heroes favor them, but... I think Zenith is far enough ahead. They could definitely still take this. The thing is, Zenith, they have two carries. But Dreams has the stronger carry in the form of the PL. But they have two semi-carries to deal with. Uh, well, uh, actually, two late-game carries. Because <laughs> Gyro is technically a late-game carry. Not a semi carry. And they also have they also have two carries that are very good against illusions with the bouncing glaives as well uh, as all the AOE, especially the call down. The, also, they can create their own PL army with the dark seer, and uh, they've got the better late uh, game supports. I th what is Jules trying to do there? <laughs> is he trying to kill? The it's a level three Dagon for Jules. He's gonna run out of Dagon upgrades soon. <laughs> Uh, I think he'll probably be kicking himself for not getting a side of ice. I don't know, if they lose this game. Hmm. But Jules is not having fun, he's being slowly driven back to the base by an they endless barrage of rockets. Dreams just need to drag this game a lot longer, and they'll have a better time. They have, they have a lot of spam to defend the lanes, illuminate the park's wave, uh -huh. anchor smash, they have a lot of things. Oh, how did they not get him there? They had vision, they just didn't go for it. Oh, Glimpse! There's the Glimpse, now they catch him. Keeper of the Light has a mech, though. He's not going to be that easy of a kill. He's not mech. meching up, he gets thrown up in there. There's the mech, the BKB, and Flips comes out on two. Almost ideal scenario for it. The zombies giving chase. Rubik actually stole the tombstone, and YK will fall. Meanwhile, high ground being breached by Owe. Another kill for the Luna, who isn't done just yet. Jules wants to turn this around. Where's that Dagon? Still not using it. Now he stands and delivers, and meanwhile, it looks like... Uh-oh, Ice 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 is in trouble. Oh, he got stunned, but uh, he could look to go back in on this. I'm surprised he's not, to be honest, and now Ice 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 will go back to the fountain, worried about those extra TPs. Mm, this is very bad for the, for them, because the Luna died again. Here comes... Uh... Regeneration. Oh, wait, once oh. Oh, he's lifting the illusions. Yeah, there's nothing he can do against that illusion. The illusion would technically kill him. <laughs> it sucks to be. It sucks to be the support when the Phantom Lancer has a diffuser. What's the What's the difference between a technical kill and a kill? Oh, uh, I'm curious. About that. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> Trick question. There is no difference. <laughs> oh, you. Uh, well, it's back and forth. It's actually only a five thousand gold lead for Zenith. There's been. Uh, it's been a rather sloppy game, but it's been very entertaining and. It looks like Zenith or... Well, Butterfly is coming soon for Ice Ice Ice. Once this is up, he is going to be the strongest hero in the fights. But if there's it goes another five thing, minutes, then it's not going to be the case. There's still one thing we haven't seen Ellie, in this game. The big team The play. vacuum. The vacuum, yeah. The vacuum to the Disruptor Ultimate and the cooldown and the kinetic field. They've actually had, maybe, se they've had several opportunities, but they didn't combo them up. Yeah, and maybe Rubik even stealing some, some... Even any spell from the park would help. If they do, if they are, if they manage to vacuum everyone to to the kinetic field, or God forbid they steal ravage after that, then you're stuck in the kinetic the static storm for an eternity, and it's just a the, total the full disaster. duration. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna be stuck inside for the full duration. Another Dagon upgrade. Eight hundred. It's eight hundred Dagon already. <laughs> Let's do a quick HP check. Disruptor, 1,000 HP. They do have Rubik with max null field, which definitely helps. Uh, Luna but... is only at 1,300. He'll just die if he gets hit by even one spell. Wow, he still has no more items. He's still so squishy. Keeps on getting picked off. 
I say, okay. size butterfly complete. LD, Luna has eight deaths, highest in the team. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the Luna has managed to die more than the supports, but that's rather unfortunate. It's certainly not what you want. It seems like we might oh, be Tide's wrong. Tide's got a blink. And yeah, he's we, we might be wrong though, LD with the 800 Dagon. We think it's something bad, but he's showing us that he's getting kill after kill with that Dagon. Oh, Jules. <laughs> Well, they're foraying into the enemy jungle. Trying to be Oh, aggressive. there's gonna be a fight, there's gonna be a fight! Yep, the tombstone is dropped. Air sits, he still has it available, but he doesn't even get to use his own tombstone. No zombie wars, just a retreat. He, he did, he did use it. Uh, Juice has destroyed it with a double damage. They're gonna chase, they're gonna chase. One NWP, he's gonna eclipse, there's your vacuum! Oh, the kinetic field is just too late, they don't really get it off! Still the fight's going well for them, the Ravage was used, then he dies anyway, triple kill for Ice Ice Ice, now they want the Keeper, it's a team wipe presented! And that, that wasn't even really, they didn't keep them all trapped inside of the kinetic field, but what they did was vacuum them into a crap load of damage from Gyrocopter Flat Cannon. They were stuck in a position where it's so congested, the wall, you have to pass by the wall to fight, and they have wall, eclipse, call down. They were all caught in the ultimates. Even the static storm, although you mentioned it was slightly a bit late, but still, he did that. He did his job, and they took so much damage from it. No pipe, LD. No pipe. No pipe. No win. <laughs> well, Undying is getting close to it. He's he went for a bracer, which is not a very standard. But if if they if they let the tight hunter buy it, and Undying would. Would, would go for well, something else. Yeah, because he's better. got the vanguard. They, they, yeah, they would have a pipe really early on. He had a dagger and a, and a vanguard. I, I'm okay with the dagger, but the vanguard is just not a good item on Tidehunter. He's already got the damage block, and you, to mention, you have uh, Kraken it Shell anyway. And if you uh, get caught in Static stack. Storm, you're dying anyway without Ravaging, so I just... I don't really see the point of it, but... And he also completed it late, after the laning stage was over. Yeah, I don't like the decision at all. Pipe would definitely be a much better option because of the Eclipse, the Call Down, and the Static Storm. Jules has that Dagon 5, he blinks in, there's the orb, the Dagon could be here, but Jules dropping low! The Pipe is up on the Darks here, and he will- Teams. Oh, he's, he's still running, he's still trying to fight, he's gonna get Eclipse, no! Oh, he's phase shifting! Well, that looks- <laughs> Gets vacuumed back into a fiery cloud of doom. Hmm, that was too ballsy from Jules. Uh, that's Jules for you. He's very similar to Bimbo in that respect. But when the supporters get braces, like, like look, look at what Zenith supporters are doing. Double. XP them got, got a cloak and the Rubik got two braces. He's not gonna solo kill them anymore. Unless they are exactly alone. <laughs> Away though, is oh, he went back for Manstall, did not complete the heart yet. Most likely we'll go for that next. Mm. Yeah, I think he just wants to be able to speed push faster. That's why he went for but I still prefer the heart build. The burning item build. Defuse into heart, then into butterfly or MKB or any form of damage later on. I feel especially if you go for drums, you should go just for the heart next. Yeah, it's just, 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 just wasting it. wasting a lot of items on that, did, that doesn't give you damage. Oh, they're lurking, they're waiting for this. They've been baiting it the whole time. The tombstone has dropped. Now the eclipse, which didn't really do a whole lot to be honest. But Jules is dead. They should be able to work uh, on the tier 2 off of this. There they, is a glyph though. They don't, really, they don't really need the eclipse then. Even the BKB, they were both too much. Overkill. Well, they are fighting through backdoor regen. The tower is still dropping though. There is a glyph, but they're not going to use it. Oh, they are going to use it. Are they going to try and fight this? They have that bleak ravage. Uh, they have the no, puck, of course. They just want to stall it, I think. Now we're still alive. Now it's melting quickly. Round number 50 of auto attacks brings it down. Oh, this gyro is so fat. Oh, call down. Bye, illusion. I told you, Winter, he was quite far ahead. <laughs> he's only gotten farther ahead, though. Now he's 5k ahead, and he was 3. Even after the buyout death twice at the start, he's still so far ahead now. I'm sure Ice 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 will tell you, see, this is proof that my buybacks were good. <laughs> <laughs> he still tells me that all the time, regardless. Even if he doesn't work, he just say, 
Nah, I still want to practice and play more. When I'm dead, I'm not playing anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm not practicing. I'm wasting my time. So buy out. <laughs> he changes the story based on whatever the results of it. <laughs> if he if he dies, then it's well. I don't I don't really care about this game anyway. This is a boring game. I want to go to the next. <laughs> if you've ever watched a stream, you know this is true. Oh, they might be able to find an opening here, bottom. Oh, uh, he's. I think he's just gonna go for a satanic later and a divine. Then he's just gonna man mode. He'll definitely Bottom go eight. for a divine at some point, but I think he's gonna complete some, so at least one or two more items first. And wait for the next Roche, which is available. They forced the TP back from PL, oh. but they had the total, so it doesn't really matter. Good news, LD. Someone is going for the pipe. Well, we'll talk about the pipe in a moment. Nope, they're not gonna chase. Uh, who's going for oh. it? I'm dying. Yeah, he's hmm. been going for it though. He's had this hood for a long time. Oh, but I don't understand. It's why Tide is getting a headdress now. <laughs> they have the mech. Maybe he's the one going for the pipe. They figure the Undying can't farm it. <laughs> What's going on? Undying is not a great farmer, to be fair. Roche is being done now, and after this Roche, we may see Ice 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 go for it. Oh, the orb was a little early. Will Jules still go for the Roche steal? Oh, Come on, Jules. Jack, you know you want to. No, he doesn't. He doesn't do a PGG. <laughs> You're too much. Grand Theft Auto, PGG. <laughs> PGG normally just runs in and then dies immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but with his Storm, he always steals Aegis. I don't think I've seen him play Storm in a long time. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Someone made a picture of uh, the Grand Theft Auto game, but they edited PGG Space into it, and they put Grand Theft Aegis with his Storm. <laughs> uh, top lane's getting pushed right now by the PL. Army of Illusions. Gonna bring this tower down, there's no glyph. That means he's very close Dyer's to his heart. But even fallen. after this heart, Luna's gonna have her butterfly. Gyro's got, already got his, and he's now picked up his new item. And that's gonna be a satanic. So now you gotta figure his next big item is gonna be a oh, divine. They right have here. two satanics, right? After this. Oh, he still doesn't have his hammer dominator. They're gonna be. I think they're gonna build two satanics on the Luna and the Gyro. And both of them will just stand in front of the. The Phantom Lancer's face with the Glaive and the Fire Cannon and just kill all the illusions. I actually don't think Dreams can really win a fight unless Zenith wastes their BKBs. Because who do you kill? Yeah. Rubik's got the Aegis. I, I, to be honest, I think actually late game right now when I start to look at things more, actually Zenith actually has the battle late game because they have two heroes that they're able to deal with the Phantom Lancer. And Phantom Lancer is going for hard plus Manta. It means that he doesn't no have a lot of damage, yeah. <laughs> Jules should be able to get away here. Well, we'll see. No, Static Storm Kinetic Field is going to prevent him from blinking out to safety. He waited too long and he pays. You know, it feels like the Disruptor is saying, they, you they got me the whole game, now take that. Static Storm in your face. Bye. You're dead. Mm. Or, or he's just getting the kill, but we like the take that narrative a bit better here. Wait, why do I see an Aegis on the Rubik? Uh, this is what I was trying to point out earlier, is they're, they're unkillable. The, they've got the Luna with the BKB Butterfly, you're not killing her. Darkseer with Pipe, Mech, and the Plate Mail, you're not killing him. Maybe the Disruptor, but even he's got a Four Staff. Rubik's got the Aegis, and he's got a Blink as well. Uh, and Ice 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 has a Satanic BKB. You just can't kill anyone on Zenith, and if you Radiant can't kill them with the Ravage, the you just can't win a fight. Yeah, it's actually a very good gonna... plan. Oh, dead. <laughs> That's an easy kill. And Winter, this looks like it might be the loss number two for Dreams. I don't know how they fight against this PL army just standing around idly top. Oh wait, throws in a lance. Now forced to run. Oh, now forced to run back. Kanichiwa looking for that big vacuum. Here comes the Blink to start it off. They want the vacuum combo. They don't find it just yet, but they do lose yet another support. Now the charge into the base. Ice 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 is journeying from top lane into the enemy fountain. He wants some kills. Here comes the fountain dives. Rocket is going to be placed and the prep begins. You think he's going to go in? I think he's going to go in. No, he's going to troll. In he's going to troll in. There's what satanic. he's doing. He's waiting for it. He's got the BKB. He's got the Satanic. Jules, run, Jules, run. And he will escape. Look, look at him, he's just throwing items in front of their faces. Just typical ice ice ice. He, he just throw his butterfly in front of their face. And now the tower will fall mid. The tier 2 is going to drop. And this is the end for Dreams, at least for this game. I believe only two teams from each group advances. And they're currently sitting at 0-2, which means 
Uh, they have one opponent left. If they win that game, they may have a chance depending on the way the rest of the group shakes out. Fuck. Killing the... Oh, they got the... They got the... That's all I can see. Oh, did taser down the disruptor. I had my eyes on the other eight heroes who are diving the fountain right now. Here comes the pain train. Ice, ice, ice. Tanking the fountain. God, like, just getting kills with the flathead, and he's not done yet. He wants some more. Ice, ice, ice. Diving. Tanking. Still freaking alive. And he's gonna get out. He goes back in. He wants more. He runs away. And dreams... Calls the GG. Yeah, they're just Strange. too far behind already, and there's no way they're gonna fight. They got out bombed. Well, Winter, it looks like even with the better hard carry, there's just too many ways to deal with the PL illusions. Also, I have to say, the PL got caught quite a bit. He went for a very defensive item build, a lot of kind of mid medium sized items, never went for anything big, like that butterfly, like that heart, and. They also just didn't have a way to deal with the BKBs. There's no, they're so reliant on the Ravage, the Puck Silence, to set up the fights and forced a couple of bad ones. And also, and also the Dagon. If they had a side of Vice oh, yeah. on that Puck, the Gyro and Luna can't be just hitting like this in a fight. Rufix <laughs> steals spaceship, walks into the fountain, and then it's gonna live. Final score, 44 to 27. Unfortunately for the Pinoy fans out there, Dreams just got creamed. They have one more game to play. I don't think we're going to be casting it here, uh, but we'll have to see if they can at least get a win. You're watching the SEA League brought to you by Beyond the Summit. I'm LD, he's Winter, and we'll have more action coming up in just a few moments. Stay tuned for that.